Hi, my name's Sam Hutchinson, and I'm joined today by my colleague, Jen Lyons. We are from the Research and Learning Portfolio at the University of Wollongong Library, and we're talking about reimagining research support at UOW through a researchers as partners lens. Sam and I live and work on beautiful Dharawal country between the escarpment and the sea. Our Wollongong campus is nestled beneath Jira, a sacred mountain that's a place of learning and a beacon in this landscape, land that has never been ceded. Our library has been part of a program aiming to embed Aboriginal knowledges and perspectives into teaching and research activities at UOW, and its guiding principles of respect, responsibility and reciprocity help shape our ways of seeing, being and doing. So a bit about UOW to situate us in our context. We have nine Australian campuses, mainly dotted around Sydney and the South Coast. We have four international campuses, over 30,000 students, over 1,000 academic staff and 1,300 professional staff. So before we start talking about the project work, we wanted to talk about the researchers as partners lens and why we applied this to the work of this project. I've been a liaison librarian for over 10 years uh, and so hearing the researcher's voice in this work really just felt like an extension of the advocacy work that a liaison librarian uh, does. Uh, Jen mentioned the reciprocity and we wanted to honour that that concept in this work and, and also apply a, a lens of reciprocity. We established a robust research services model for liaison services over 10 years ago. And more recently, changes in team structure and increased research support activity across UIW warranted a review of the service in 2022. So we did an audit of our research support resources, analysis of our service interactions, a desktop review of other research support models, and consulted with our stakeholders, including the Research Services Office. Several recommendations were developed to ensure that our services and activities are sustainable and scalable and responsive to sector-wide initiatives and aligned with UOW's research strategy. One was that we need to improve the way we capture and report on our client interactions. Another was that for our service model, we recognize the need to shift to an advisory and self-help model. We also identified service elements least used so we can focus on those that reflect growth areas of need. It was clear that we not only need to ensure that our services are relevant and responsive, we need to ensure that our staff have the necessary capabilities to provide those services. We had established a research support community of practice as a way for library staff to share knowledge with each other, but we knew we needed more, which is where the research skills capability framework comes in. So drawing on Australian and international frameworks that exist and taking this opportunity to acknowledge that we used the Australian and international frameworks that exist, um, we developed uh, our own research skills capability framework that is situated in the needs of the UOW um, academic community. Uh, the, this framework also um, dovetails into the universe, uh, UOW Library's thriving library capabilities framework. So the liaison services team are, are familiar with capability frameworks. So introducing this one to our team um, was, was easy. The, the team, uh, the framework allows for people to perform a self-assessment and our team have done that, that self-assessment now. Um, and the self-assessment is against the three clusters that are on the slide. So practice knowledge and application, contextual knowledge and key per personal strengths and mindset. We conducted a research and needs survey in April, 2023. Um, we had over 120 responses and throughout the, the survey, some key themes um, floated to the surface. Things that we would all be familiar with, the, the value of one-on-one -on -one or personalised support from the library team, um, increasing the visibility of, of, of our 
libraries research services to the academic community and raising awareness to, for the academic community of tools that they can use to measure the impact of their work. In terms of what's next, at the moment we're in the midst of a comprehensive LibGuide revitalization, which as you can appreciate is a significant piece of work and we'll be testing our prototypes with a researcher focus group. We're also looking at the liaison services capability matrix based on those self-assessments and are creating a training and development plan to address priority areas. One of the key aspects will be peer-to-peer -peer learning, which taps into that lovely reciprocity idea, which has helped guide our approach. Of course, skills development won't just be restricted to our staff, so we'll be boosting our training offerings to researchers. And to help ground the next phase of our research services model, we'll continue to partner with our research community and researcher-facing professional support units to ensure that what we provide is relevant and valuable. So that's the UOW Library Research Services story. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot to do. We've done a lot and a lot to do. And thanks very much for your time.